Hi guys, Skinny Pigs one here. Today's video, as you can see by the title, is all about the realities and expenses of guinea pigs. Now for the expenses, I live in Canada, so you can keep that in mind when I'm talking about my prices, because they do change depending where you are in the world. But as for the realities, it doesn't matter where you live, I think they're going to be all the same. So first off, the number one reality is guinea pigs are not for everyone. I think it's totally amazing when people can admit that a pet is not right for them. They do their research and they realize they don't fit into that person's lifestyle, that the cost and the minimum standards and requirements for this animal are not for them. So that's something we should always keep in mind to research first before we get an animal. And it's okay to admit that they're not right for you. Because as I've said before, there's sugar gliders and hedgehogs, which I have thought about, but they're just not for me. Now next is a big one. The reality of guinea pigs is they are not for children. Now there are younger viewers that I have, but I hope that in your home, your parents are just as interested in the guinea pigs as you are. I think that is so important. They're not starter pets for kids. They are complex creatures that need an adult to provide their care. And of course, children can help and be involved and learn from that experience. But number one, if your parents aren't on board for wanting the pet, then I would wait to get them because parents or who are going to need to put the money into them, who are going to need to transport them to the vet and buy their supplies and so on and so forth. So oh, they are not starter pets for kids. The next reality of guinea pigs is just in general they are expensive. There are lots of hidden costs. We'll start off with just the main one, just purchasing their cage can be an expense that some people are put off by so a lot of people go right away to the smallest cheapest cage they can find. A guinea pig lives five to seven years. There's people who have them eight or nine. You need to buy their cage as an investment. They are going to be living in there their entire life which is a long time compared to some other pets like hamsters or rats that are two to three years. Eight years in a tiny pet store cage, it, it hurts my heart to think about. I know I preach and preach about cage size, but this is one of the basic standard cage size requirements for a CNC cage is 28 by 56 inches. Some people go by square feet, but you need a huge cage. So if that turns you off right away when you're looking into guinea pigs at the price of purchasing a do-it-yourself cage or a CNC cage, they are not the right pets for you because they require a large cage. Now for me to personally build a CNC cage, one pack of square grids was about $25 and then purchasing one sheet of Coriplast was about the same. So you're looking at about $50 to make a 2 by 5 cage, which is huge, which is great for two pigs. Other places in the world, yes, it's going to be different, harder to find supplies. You can go on to guineapigcages.com and purchase the whole cage set together, which is going to be expensive with shipping, but you got to look at the big picture. That is worth it. They're in there for seven to eight years. Whatever the cost is, that's worth it for their health and their peace of mind, for letting them run around and play. It's just an amazing thing. So don't be scared by the expense of the cage right off the bat. The next expensive thing is you can't cheap out when you're buying hay and pellets. High quality brands are worth it. High quality pellets will keep them healthy, give them the nutrition they need. Uh, Walmart and places like that offer very cheap pellets and that's what they are. Just the reality is higher quality pellets are going to keep your pigs healthier. I highly recommend KM's Hayloft pellets. You order those online. And for myself, I buy a 50 pound bag. It's $39 US, so I have to do the exchange rate so it's more in Canadian. And then shipping to me is about $80. And again, you do the exchange rate. 
And then we get a little bit of tax by the time they get here. I think it was like 15 to 20 dollars of taxes. So it was expensive by the time I got it, but a 50 pound bag lasts me for quite a while. And to me, that is just an expense I am okay with paying. You can purchase Oxbow pellets, the Cavi Cuisine for adult pigs. That is a great one. Just stay away from the ones that have the seeds, the nuts, the colored bits. Just go for the plain pellets. Another mega expense is veggies. Now this depends on how many pigs you have. But I personally spend probably $25 a week on veggies. Just for me, since I have eight animals that eat the vegetables, Seymour's included, I spend about $2 on a head of lettuce and I use one every day. If they're smaller, like if they're bigger, I might get two days out of that. I use seven peppers in a week and each pepper is about a dollar to a dollar fifty each. And I have tomatoes and one little carton of the dirt tomatoes is about four dollars. A cucumber right now since they're kind of getting in season is about one dollar each and I use a couple of those a week. And then if you buy any little extras here and there and then carrots like for a small bag of carrots is a couple bucks. So anyway it adds up. To me it's $25 a week. Their pellets as I said I don't know if that was about 150 for probably 68 months. Their hay I buy the big 50 pound boxes $60 each that lasts me about a month and a half to two months max. So there's the prices going up and up. To me their cage was the cheapest thing to buy their cage and get their bottles and their food dishes. The next expense for me was having fleece cage liners. And they're very expensive to buy straight out, but they last for a long time and I just have to wash and dry them. Disposable bedding it can be very pricey, especially if you have huge cages like you should and lots of cages. That's something I personally couldn't afford to do. But buying disposable bedding is totally a personal choice and I think that's awesome for people who have it. It doesn't matter if you have fleece or disposable bedding. Now fleece people have to remember you're doing it properly, not just any fabric will do and you need the absorbent layer. So for me bedding is fairly cheap because I just have to pay for the water and my natural detergent. And yes it does take hydro but what doesn't. And then the next hugest expense is vet care. Now this is another thing that is a reality. Guinea pigs are illness and accident prone. They do require an exotic vet. So if this is something that turns people off of owning them, that's totally fine. Just do not get the guinea pigs if you're not willing to take them to the vet. This is something I get messaged a lot by younger my younger viewers, which is very unfortunate that they want to get their piggy help but their parent is unwilling to take them to the vet. That breaks my heart and that goes back to not having the pet unless the parent is totally invested in them as well. All pets require health care. I think it is cruel to have a pet that needs attention medically and to ignore it. That's the reality of owning guinea pigs. They're expensive. They require the vet. So for here in Canada, for an exotic vet visit just for your initial overall exam, I think it's $74 for myself. It has gone up over the years. I remember it used to be about $64, but it's $74. That's just to see them. That's no tests or medications. X-ray here is about, it just depends what kind of x-ray because sometimes they have the split screen, the full screen. It's about $75 to about $135 for one x-ray. Medications are very expensive. Barnaby, I get a little bottle of Medicam for him that lasts about two or three months. That's $100. He has his Tramadol, which is a bit smaller bottle, which is about $40 to $50. Bullseye is on Cisapride every day. He has a little bottle of it. Same thing is about 40 or $50. It could be a bit less, I forget, but his lasts a lot longer because he doesn't get much of it. Doing things at the vet like an eye stain is usually about $30. That's when they have an eye injury. Getting antibiotics can be like 15 to 20 bucks, depending on how much you need. 
there's a whole slew of things. Surgeries are super expensive because you have a qualified individual performing very tedious surgeries. Barnaby's bladder stone removal surgery with x-rays, medication, and recovery time at the vets all included was $1,000. Bullseye to get his eye repaired was $400. Calvin to get a cyst removed off to his back was $350. Just uh, vet visits, I've gone for eye injuries, so they get the stain, they get their medication, are usually running around $100 to $150. So I mean, it, they're expensive, and that's just the reality of it. They're expensive, so if that's not something you can budget, that's 100% okay. Just know that those pets aren't for you. Now, what else? Oh, guinea pigs, another reality of them is they require to live in pairs. So if you're a household or a person who's only allowed to have one pet or thinks they can only manage one pet, you need to look at pets that are okay living solo. Can a guinea pig survive on its own? Yes, but there's a difference between surviving and thriving. They are social creatures. They are found in the wild in big groups. They need to be kept in pairs. So if you're researching them and you're only gonna have one pet, they're off the list. That's just the reality of it. And let's see. Oh, another huge reality that I don't think people really notice because online when you film a video, you have their cage clean before you film it most of the time. Guinea pigs are extremely messy. If you have disposable bedding, you might not notice it as much because poops can, you know, get rustled in, sink down. When you have fleece bedding, every day, twice a day at least, you're sweeping up poops and hay. Every day. So I spend, with my guinea pigs, now mind you I have seven guinea pigs, one rabbit, I spend at least half an hour to 45 minutes every morning and usually about an hour at night just for cleaning purposes. This isn't talking about doing their nail care, cuddles, floor time. This is just two hours out of my day every day for cleaning up purposes. So again, for some people, that's too much maintenance. For me, I love it. So again, that's something that you can honestly admit that you have no interest in having that much upkeep or maintenance. That's fine. For me, that reality is totally cool because they are worth it. Guinea pigs fit into my lifestyle because I free up my time for them. I'm not a person who goes on holidays. I'm not out all the time with friends. I am a homebody and being around my guinea pigs is the best thing. So people who travel a lot are gone for long periods of the day who don't have a lot of time to spend at home. I could see how that would interfere with your lifestyle. But guinea pigs are messy. Some people can semi get them trained with litter boxes under where they eat or drink. But I find for my pigs, it is a poo party. They poop a lot and pee a lot in their beds. So like I'm changing those every day. They're messy critters, but looking at them, seeing their sweet little faces, it's all worth it to me. I love putting in all the time, all the money. I love purchasing the best hay, the best pellets I can get. I love giving them their daily vegetables. I love clipping their nails. I like doing full health checks. I like weighing them. Everything about the guinea pigs are worth it to me. They are a pet that I absolutely love. Nothing about their realities is a con to me. It's just a real reality. That's what they re need. That's what they require. So I always like to go above and beyond what they need. Because to me, guinea pigs, well all pets, they're innocent creatures. They look to us to look after them properly. They need us when they need help. And I'm totally on board to do all those things. So the reality of owning guinea pigs is they're expensive, they're messy, they require large cages, they require to be in care, in pairs. They require a slew of healthy, healthy food, hay, pellets, vegetables. They require a lot of attention. They are not easy, but they're worth it. If they fit into your lifestyle, into your budget, 
they are worth it. So if you have any questions about all these realities or expenses that you wanted to know more about, just ask me.